Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today is January the 17th, 2021, and I welcome you to more testimony about, you want to, I'm not even sure whether you want to title this as a political massacre, killings in so-called independent Slovenia after 1995, something I have related myself to, uh, to a settlement Aratish, that's near Novo Mesto. Uh, in this part, however, I will concentrate on the vicinity of my own residence. I will talk a little bit about my neighbors. I'm going to talk about uh, a gentleman whom I have met and such. And definitely is related to Vladimir Putin. It's definitely related to the killings uh, that commenced after I was brought from United States of America from 1995 and all the way up and uh, no less for 11 and a half consecutive years uh, drugged up packed taken to the airport international and flown either to Canada or straight to Europe that didn't really matter uh, it's whatever a Buckingham Palace deemed I was necessary. And they did such a stuff, uh, Donald Trump did it, a US government covered up. Uh, they did such a stuff for Berlin. Because they have this beautiful plan going on in which we, uh, the people of Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia, Poland, Ukraine, Czech Republic, Slovakia, and so on and so forth, we should not even exist. They have this kind of plan going on. They made this kind of plan. They signed this kind of plan. Uh, and basically, either we would not exist, or we would simply exist with American boot on our throats, literally. Uh, this is just the way it is. I, I will explain all that stuff. Uh, those are the preconditions. Uh, Donald Trump claimed uh, you're going to be either with them or you're going to be with them. But you cannot be on a both sides. Now I believe that uh, if we want to survive, we have to present that third option. I don't know how feasible that is. We do have a situation that involves a lot of people like... Uh, Kaczynski, Morawiecki, Andrzej Duda, uh, Andrzej Babic. Uh, we do have this kind of people, so I don't know how much that stuff is actually possible. Um, what went on in Slovenia from 1995 and to very today in 2021 did not go in Czech Republic and in Poland after 2002, definitely not. Uh, the killings that Putin commenced, Vladimir Putin, and in Slovenia also Alexander Vucic, that's a Serbian president now, went on in Slovenia, Serbia, Russia, and I am pretty sure also in Ukraine, that's also where you would have a terrorism going on all the way to 2021. But after 2002, when it comes to a Czech Republic and Poland, you can easily attribute those to a people like I have mentioned. Kaczynski, Andrzej Duda, uh, Andrzej Babic, Morawiecki and so on. Because their agenda was to actually place American tanks, German tanks, on the border with the Russia. Uh, they believe that they cannot serve two interests that they have to decide. And I think they pretty much sought their option, sovereignty to someone else, which is completely evident. Um, so I just want to make clear that this is not the same thing. These are uh, different issues. But for me, of the primary, of the paramount importance is why all this stuff happened. Who was behind this? Who pushed this option forward? Why and how? In a Balkans, 
and the one who was a really awkward pigeon on the picture all the way from beginning was a Queen Elizabeth. This is a Buckingham Palace, Prince Charles and so on. They were interested in a royalism. A royalism equals to fascism. The family Windsor Battenbergers are Germans alone. This is a Battenberg, Mount Batten. They changed from Battenberger, they changed into the Mount Batten and then and so on and so forth. But there is a really, really filthy characteristic behind this family about which I was warned by this German family in London. I was told don't even touch this subject because once you touch this subject it is completely over with you. Um, they did not declare the war. You see this is a good part about this stuff about the Poland, about Ukraine, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Slovenia, Croatia and Bosnia against whom Moscow and Belgrade have declared the war. Um, we're not alone. We just happen not to be so much alone. Actually, we are quite a powerful majority. Things don't look so dark as you would think look dark. Battenbergers have a huge, huge war going on in Great Britain. That's why I called one all the way Great Britain. I refuse to call this United Kingdom. For a simple Kent reason. Kent reason is the reason that commenced a civil tensions in Britain between English, between majority of the British population with Scottish. You see, a lower portion of this British island was populated for a few centuries actually occupied by the Roman military might, you would want to say. And you know, you're like, yeah, there is a huge, huge racism that goes on in Britain itself. And the Britain is divided as you would not even possibly believe what kind of racism goes on against the British in Britain. The England, they are deemed as actually a non-white people by the Scottish and Germans, Battenbergers. Battenbergers eventually believed that it's not even in their best interest to lodge anymore in London. This is how far the tensions went with them. It bring the Civil War situation. This got everything to do with my situation, your situation, my dear friend, uh, with why we have to fight for our right to survive. You see, about the Battenbergers, about the Windsors, about what goes on in Britain precisely, I am going to explain in the, in the video which I have titled 404, a massacre in independent Slovenia in 1995, after 1995. But right now, I am just going to... Um, if you want to maybe a little bit ante or raise the temperature more about what Battenbergers cooked here. Battenbergers were interested in a family, in a royalism, as I have explained, and in particular family Karadzic. Battenbergers who brought me to Europe were interested in re-establishing a Chetnik state a kingdom of SHS, except that in this kingdom of the SHS there would be no SHS, there would be only S. There would be no Serbs, I mean no Slovenes and no Croats, what H stands for, there only would be Serbs. The rest of it, it would be a complete wipeout. This is why uh, I am going to charge, definitely I am going to charge this. Battenbergers with attempted genocide extermination of Slovenian, Croat, and Bosnian people, as well as about Czech people against Polish people and other people. Something that Kaczynski have defended all along. He was very much uh, against anything that would go against a British royals. But Kaczynski was then an individual, Andrzej Duda, Kaczynski, Babich, what they would do is the first act of genocide they have committed against Slovenian nation also with what I'm going to charge them was 
they have crossed our name from the from the group of the Western Slavic people. This was the number one thing. And the second thing, they gave, okay, they gave the green light to the Belgrade to commit, uh, to commence ethnic cleansing of Slovenia. You see, so this is how, this is why we're gonna do it like this. The gentleman I had met the other day was not the only one I'm talking about this settlement here. Now, the village here that pertains now, actually it's like a street, Kirka, uh, of Novo Mesto. It's now incorporated in the city of Novo Mesto. It used to be a village, now it's incorporated. I'm gonna put it this way. We have one house, two, three, four, and then we have one more right there. We border basically on one, two, yeah, three, four, five houses. Of these five houses, we have, practically we have one individual who speaks Polish. He spent time in Poland. Individual who was here before him, his name was Frank died of about, I think, same symptoms as about the guy you're about to hear. And when I can recall of his pain, of his suffering here, watching him, what went on, boy, I possibly could, uh, he wanted to be dead from the pain, from the suffering. Uh, it was actually so bad that it was uh, like almost uh, from pain, from suffering, unimaginable death. It's good when you're dead, when you when you die, when you suffer so much, it's actually when there is no way out. It's actually really a good news, you know? Um, the other neighbor, Cancer, right here, his name was also Frank, I think, just as about as closely related as about the stuff I'm about to play you, the audio recording from a gentleman. And then you have another gentleman here, breathing problem. Uh, they have invented and they have taken me, and this is not that they will try to make me paranoid. This is. They diversified that into a different issue, just as I have explained. One of the issues was also with the breeding. So they would put something inside of the cigarettes. If you would smoke, uh, you would get something. I don't know. I am completely unsure. But we have another neighbor here who also have a problem um, with the heart. He was doing a smoking, but I don't think he doesn't have anything with the breeding, so I don't think that that would also pertain to some kind of uh, political extermination program. I don't think he would be targeted. He hosted, uh, he would not be on the list of the people that they would, in my opinion, that they would select for a kill. Um, so this you have three of them. Now that this is the village where people are so fucking afraid that they would not even tell you about where they are, where they left, because it was people that will run from this village for life. Literally, I am not kidding about this. That's also a fact. That's also something I am gonna go for it. Um, in this audio recording, however, I am gonna concentrate on a gentleman whose uh, whole stomach was cut out his whole spleen was cut out uh, and pancreas was reduced to half a size. Uh, this is, uh, let's go to the business. Uh, this is a gentleman whose relative, I should say a brother, um, is married to a girl from exactly this location here, Unskosanski Canton in Bosnia, in Bihać. Um,
issue which I have pointed out in a Serbo-Croat language uh, when I addressed the prosecutor of this canton here of Bosnia. This is the canton, this Unskosanski canton. This is the canton that is on a highest, I'm going to say, uh, like on a list of priorities to get ethnically cleans destroyed. This is like number one priority for a Chetnik state, for the new Chetnik state for the Belgrade. This is like number one priority. This is the one that they want to cleanse out no matter what. So it's all kinds of stuff that goes on. Uh, doctress you have just seen. The lady here was involved in my MK Ultra case. Her name is uh, Nicolina Balaban and knows absolutely everything about my case. In my case is such, I am going to explain to you in some other video that in 2001, uh, as a matter of fact, it goes to, to 1997 and again it pertains to the Buckingham Palace. Uh, we would return from abroad, I'm not sure whether it was from Nova Scotia or was it from Britain only, but we would be there with the Russians, we would be there with the Putinist team, and when we would return we had some kind of party here in Ljubljana and they brought this uh, people, Slovenian politicians I'm talking about from all backgrounds and they would assemble them over there and they were up to a challenge and s searching for the right faces that would they would use, that it was a confusion, What they, but what's interesting is the Putin's KGB was right there, and they were eyeing the new, this new politicians. One of the politicians was Slovenian President Dr. Janusz Dernoszek. Dr. Janusz Dernoszek became suspicious to one of the KGB people just because he looked, how can I say, suspicious. You know, he had that look that he didn't have to think anything bad. He just, you just had to look like this, like. The case was here with my neighbor. You just had to look like suspicious. Now, he was a doctor. He was a very intelligent man. But he was killed for all the wrong reasons. He was killed because he looked different. He looked suspicious. This guy here, he was just killed because um, well, Vladimir Putin didn't like him. All right? That was the reason enough. He did not like him. He he had this some kind of personal thing that appeared to him that this guy is like a smart ass. The reality is this guy had like eight 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 classes of grammar school here, and his brother suffered greatly from mental deficiency. It was nothing that this guy here would present as a threat, as a danger to someone like Putin, like Vucic or something like this. It was just enough that you looked a little different and that you spoke different language and you were on a kill list. Now this family appealed to me, do not talk, do not this, do not, do, 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 do. Well, the thing is that's going to be have to be done a whole a lot because in a Chetnik state in a Chetnik state in a Chetnik state ah yes the people from my village know her very good they know her very very good in a Chetnik state you are guilty already if you are of a different religion or different nationality. If you're not Serb, you're guilty. In a Chetnik state, you have a disease, you have an illness, and you are in the identify, you are compared either to the Jews or to the Nazis if you are not a Serb. And this lady, this lady here that you see, this uh, Mrs. Bilena Plausic, she was in this village, they hosted her in this little village whom they told me about when I was brought here 
from United States of America is a little Yugoslavia. This individual here, once, once I understand, was here, once only. And his name is a big name. His name is Slobodan Milosevic. He was uh, on this village. Ay, ay, ay. That one somehow escaped me. Ah, oh, I did not. This gentleman was here. This gentleman was here. This was, this was like a big man. His name is Radovan Karadzic. This man. This man actually made a prognosis. He made a, he made a prognosis that the only thing he's going to be waiting on is going to be for this video in which I'm going to condemn the British Crown British Palace. Seems like they have well anticipated this kind of stuff and that they would use this to gesture uh, to their own people on how a further cooperation against us is necessary. But, well, we shall see about that. Uh, that's basically, I'm not going to say that's how, but through this case they did manage to bail out Wojcław Szeszel. And that was an important individual who would slaughter a lot, a lot of uh, inciting, killing, in slaughtering Croats and, and Bosniaks and so on. Uh, they got him straight from Hog. But I just want you to get familiarized with his profession. Uh, he was a profession, he was a psychiatrist, this individual here. Now, this is a psychiatrist, Mr. Karadzic. This one, I don't remember him here. I don't remember him. Uh, I don't remember Arkham that would be here in this village that he would visit. He did not. I don't know. Maybe he did. I don't remember him. I don't recall him. Uh, Aratko Mladic did. This is another individual who would visit Kirka village. And this individual, understand, even has a child here in the city of the Novo Mesto with a woman. His name is Milorad Dodik. This was an individual that was all the time with... He was all the time involved in this case. All the time. This is a very, very close associate of Donald Trump. All these people um, highly supported by Donald Trump. And more than anybody else... By these people here, I am sure you know. I'm sure you can recognize them. They are from Great Britain. Battenberger family. Queen Elizabeth too, and oh, this, this people. I am sure you know them. I, I'm sure you know the family I am talking about. Why would they do this again? They would do this stuff because of this stuff here. This was uh, a Yugoslav king. This here. This. Uh, it was like this until this family abandoned um, abdicted uh, their nation for London. In other words, um, they uh, sided with the Adolf Hitler. They wanted the pact with the Adolf Hitler. They were supporters of the Adolf Hitler. They said, we are on the side of the Adolf Hitler. We agree to have a pact with the Adolf Hitler. Um, just like uh, Hungary did, just like Bulgaria did. I'm just giving you an example. They were siding with Adolf Hitler against Russia, against um, <laughs> against basically against of their own people, against their own Serbian people. 
and once they did that, they of course have found themselves as uh, not exactly welcome here. Uh, they boarded the plane and uh, they escaped to the London. And this is um, again uh, clowns that they would climb back on the picture right through this case. I remember <laughs> the papa, the son, uh, from the day one involved in MK Ultra case. Uh, this was just a vagabond. They were doing some kind of, I don't know, trade, whatever they were doing in London. Uh, doing pretty much nothing, basically. Waiting for the Queen Elizabeth um, to restart this kingdoms, this failed kingdoms all, all around the world. Uh, and it would be the case right through this case. Now that this was a pile of the useful shit already, not only during the Second World, but also after the Second World War, um, that's actually not a secret, that's actually a fact. At the same time as I was used literally to entertain politicians, uh, business people, uh, basically used to steer the shit. That's what Americans have used me for. They used me to steer the shit. War, basically, here with the Eastern Europe. They would get all kinds of politicians, um, CEOs, kings, royalties around me, and it would be exactly this individual here who was, by the way, groomed. Who, by the way, was groomed, you see. Groomed by individual you see on the, on the right side, Shechel, and on the left side you see a Vucic, a Serbian president now. Um, mostly hijacked up for the beatings, for the fuck of it, for the hell of it, for the abuse, basically, uh, to either Serbia or Poland. Uh, I did spend some time also in Ukraine, but I'm afraid it didn't do them anywhere even near as much as it did to Poland. Uh, it did to a Czech Republic. It did to also to Serbia. They completely managed to revamp failed industry. Everything that was in ruins obtained fresh money right through me, right through this case. And for that matter, what they would do is they would start to suggest, because these are the people, their parents were Chetniks. Their, their parents cooperated, collaborated with the Hitler. They would start to suggest that it was actually these people here who did this. It wasn't I, but they started to write the attribution to the royal family of Serbia, so-called royal family of Serbia. Because the idea was to actually bring them back. So these freeloaders were going to take through this case, they were going to go and they were going to hijack uh, again people from ex Yugoslavia. Uh, that was basically the main thing. That's actually is what brought these people here that you see here Slobodan Milosevic, Radko Mladic. And Bilena Plaušić, oh, she was so sick. Uh, and then you have this Momčilo Krajišnik. All this great, great people. Now, this man was in charge for me in Serbia, make no mistake. Uh, like, like, he was like a... This man, there was no time that I would go to Serbia that I would not get to see him. That they would not bring me right in front of him. There was not a single time. This guy, you see, these are the people that were visitors of this village. This is the guy who promised me that I'm dead no matter what, that I'm never going to make it, and so on and so forth. This is the shit that Mr. Donald Trump brought an American citizen, subjected American citizen to, to a totally criminal, dominating genocidal practices because in 2001 then you have a university 
in Belgrade you have a that's what I was gonna explain about this lady here this was the lady whom I have met boy I don't know maybe even in 96 already in the 96 probably um, when she was still with a husband in Croatia what became her husband or whatever the case was she decided to go study to become a physician uh, specialized in a cancer issues in 2001 after Janis Dernoshek this individual here like this individual here he was identified with a cancer sometime in Oh, the, the cancer already appeared to him like in, I don't know, 99 or something like this. They don't even say this is a Slovenian language. Um, they don't even say anything about this stuff, huh? do they say? Not much. Okay, this man was very, very, very angry at me. They were very angry. Not only he, but others. Um, I was guilty of course for everything I was guilty for absolutely everything um, this is um, because of this stuff here I think this lady here explained absolutely everything as I think that mrs. mrs. billion applause uh, the answer easily why I was guilty uh, I think that it can be found I, it can be summarized in this sentence here. Uh, Bosniaks were unable to negotiate uh, due to genetics or let's say because of this thing here. Nazis, uh, specific uh, ethnic group with disease or illness has been compared to how Nazis identify, identified the Jews and so on. I think I was guilty because I was Slovenian. <laughs> I think I was guilty because I was alive. Um, and so sometimes in 2001 I was taken to Belgrade hijacked to Belgrade again drugged up brought to this hospital in Belgrade and they did something they did something to thyroid gland but that thing was not efficient enough that thing whatever they have done was not efficient enough that would progress that would result in something that would uh, accelerate cancer so they repeated procedure again in 2005 and so each time whenever I would use like I, it was like a they would have me carry backpacks and stuff you know, I could hear this shh in the rear but they covered up that kind of stuff which suggested me anywhere from diabetes from a brain cancer from uh, like a million million things they would come up with and insisted that under MK Ultra that this is what it is this is what it is this is what it is you would under no fucking way um, actually go that this was, this was actually a medical procedure. Sometimes in 2015, Alexander Vucic insisted me that because I carry this shit already for so long in me, I am not going to be even able to prove that they have done that kind of procedure to me in a bad grade, in a hospital. Now, this lady, however, could this lady however could she could do this kind of stuff because why well she was right here in this village along with these people she knew not only that she was in this village she was also in studied in the university in a belgrade and she knew absolutely everything about my case she was at the hospital right here in Novo Mesto 
and have explained uh, doctors about my health situation precisely what exactly was done to me in a Belgrade so they are very very familiarized uh, with my case her name is Dr. Nicolina Balaban right here if you ask me for me this is just um, a really really beautiful Bosnian girl that's all I have to say I have fallen for her um, when I saw her uh, in Bosnia no this is she she was uh, labeled as anti-Bosnian but I think it doesn't get more Bosnian than this and she was labeled as such because well foremost she was helpless she found herself in a situation I believe just as I have explained everything I've explained in, two, in video uh, in, Ser in Bosnian in Slovenian serbo croat language uh, that's exactly the way it was there is just a little instance that's missing about 2001 and 2005 that I have explained and two, 2015 that I have explained in this video um, she was branded as anti-Bosnian because I believe they set her up they did something to her um, this is a warrior for the human rights for the equality she does not see the difference between the Serb before between the Bosniak between the Croat Slovenian and as such also have found herself in uh, problems and so she just also happens to be related to the gentleman you are about to hear now right here you are about to hear now right here on this audio recording because he is a relative of the lady who is from exactly about the same place as I have indicated you here uh, the two are also from the same profession and they know each other very well uh, the lady I'm talking about the friend of the lady you see here is actually I am not gonna pay attention to the phone right now is actually a wife of brother you're gonna hear me talking to basically so <laughs> this is a real deal I am talking about everything I have done everything I have done and they have even anticipated that somehow they would blend that I would not be proved it's just this is this normal and this and that fuck it's normal for everything I have it's actual it's proof including for the British I have spoken you about um, they would go bottom burgers they would go and they would start the ethnic cleansing here in Britain you see let me explain to you something London look at that United Kingdom and you have a uh, Scotland here um, they have they have practically right here it says England um, all of this area a uh, button beggars have um, oh, let me demonstrate to you uh, button beggars have labeled these people here as you know so this is just my mom she just wants me to go to lunch uh, but she knows what I'm doing it's not a coincidence um, whales all this they have labeled these people as a non-white uh, just as I have explained in a cast week um, Prince Andrew he would jump uh, really he only would jump he only would cheat his lovely wife 
with Scottish women because English they were just they didn't fit the description it, it was just not white William for that reason was very very choosy he did go for the English but he had a hard time to find one and I just happened to be right there at the moment he did you're just simply not white enough the reason for that is this here this was a big resentment this was a this was a ah I just was looking forward to this video so much you have no idea um, they would take me to the Kent literally uh, as I have explained to the city Kent where they uh, where the Romans uh, embarked on the British Isle and they would start the conquest of the Britain uh, well, let's do it again that's exactly what I'm referring to and this is what added to a British DNA also if you want my DNA uh, our DNA we are neighbors here from Italy uh, this here this was a Roman Empire before uh, right where I am this were all this areas here this was a Roman Empire all the way to Belgrade through the Balkans uh, through the Istanbul this was a Roman Empire before this place right here that you see but they mixed with variety of people from the Celts from uh, Celts were here before uh, Celts um, Illyri Illyri were actually native here to the Balkans and it was like a melting pot they would mix with the Slavic people once there was Slavic people they would arrive here they would mix with them and so on there were nations that would go back and forth and they would mix with one another it's just like a melting pot and this is a hell problem to the Battenbergers. Battenbergers, the people with the pure German DNA, uh, boy, um, they would not consider English as white at all. And so that's something that's this dark secret that lies in the heart of these people. They hate their own people so much. This is just how the things are. But along these people, they have this special interests through which they would promote this great Grosse Germany, this great Germany, and that's called royalism. Through the royalism, that's right. That's why Karajorjevic, that's why Chetniks, that's why all this shit. That's where 26 years of my life went. And I was labeled as a paranoid schizophrenic by the real lunatics, by the psychiatrists, by the genocidal maniacs, by the people eventually I ran away from in 1994 when I joined work aboard uh, at Celebrity Cruise Line aboard the ship Meridian and that's what a Donald Trump brought me back and that's what they want that's what they, that's what's all about that's what this thing was all about this is actually who brought Vladimir Putin time and again back here to Slovenia these are the people eventually who paid Vladimir Putin I think the first payment they didn't pay me you know the stuff they talked about first that's the way it started they would pay me if I would manage to identify if I would manage to explain about MK Ultra, identify the cities and this and that dra, 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 you know when the fucker when when he opens the fucking mouth the Prince Charles this whore over there from Berlin this this Merkel when they open their mouths, dra 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 dra. We're gonna pay. Dra, 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 we're gonna pay. And then they fuck you with the 26 years, and your spine gets broken along the way, and you get the cancer and stuff like this. You know that kind of stuff. They paid Vladimir Putin in 2000. I think first settlement was a 500 million dollars in cash, and that was given deposit to his account because Vladimir Putin would massacre so many people in Slovenia mostly not even so many in the Czech Republic and in Poland but he would kill so many fucking people here that 
they weren't sure whether they would want to proceed with him or not and so as I was told by the Buckingham Palace by the British as Buttenberg as I was told to stop this to calm Vlad they paid him a settlement of 500 million dollar and really Vlad was pleased he was calmed he calmed he was more pleased and I guess that they did sign that contract wherever the fuck went on and they took it from there otherwise I was told by the Buckingham Palace Vlad would have been even replaced by someone else I break this shit in details in a video 404 titled as massacre in political killings in independent Slovenia after 1995 now you know the whole thing pretty much let's go to the audio recording and we're gonna take it from there I'm gonna demonstrate to you before I do this a few people that know just about the stuff I have spoken about in respect to British family no this here was like an early team that was involved the actors that you see right here they would be involved like early on into my MK Ultra situation this man here eventually got married he got married to the lady I was interested in and apparently that she was the one she expressed interest in me and did so because of his Roman DNA because he was just not white enough because he just felt that he was uh, being ousted that he is being unequally treated uh, seen as non-British and for what I don't even condemn him I think it's a lovely couple in fact and British Wales decided to knight him uh, basically to calm him to actually purchase him so I believe he would even witness against me sometimes in God knows when the fuck 2017 2015 or whatever the case was his name you know I'm sure you know this guy Tony Robinson also a historian if you go and you will see the videos a real Englishman if you if you go you will see the videos uh, talking about the history he's not only comedian he is um, well-spoken very vocal uh, knows This man here a killed in January 21st, 2020. I would not be capable to prove any of that. Age is official reason. However, she was involved in MK Ultra since 1995. And I should know about her residence, about the stuff like this. I should be capable, if faced with, go into her past and identify, I believe, her home surroundings and so on and so forth in case of suspicions her name is Anna Sunderstorm and that shit just happened so because Terry Jones just happened so that he was a fanatic fanatic he loved me this was the man who loved me this guy here he also had this Roman DNA in him now we are talking about a real Britain now we're talking about the real issue that have torn apart Britain 
but you know what this fucking issue torn apart my country it continues to torn apart Poland it continues to torn apart Czech Republic and Ukraine and everybody else we are not guilty that we are alive we are just people who want to be alive now let's go to the audio recording there were however more people involved in that stuff there were a lot of people that know about the stuff I'm talking about right now hmm therefore this is the video about my village this is the video about my village this is the video uh, about my village about my people here from from this area here which for, for whom I have stated some and disappeared ran out of this country because they were just hell scared when you see the creatures like this walking around back and forth all over the village and he's talking about the cottage which was quite a few times here forget about Vucic and stuff like that that was a very small Vucic was a frequent here but you're talking about the big kahunas that were eventually reported to the hawk eventually imprisoned when you see creatures like this walking around all over the village and people dying left and for then you would understand what exactly I'm talking about hey man how are you what are you uh, supporting yourself uh, yeah, how you would say that I don't even know support stick he is barely walking man He's barely walking. He's a strong man. Oh, well, he's 62, but this is a farmer. Strong guy. I told him you also have a spine problem like I have. Well, I met him one morning when I was coming back from uh, our walk. I met him. He says, yeah, I have a problem, a very bad problem with the spine. Spine, huh? Spine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He says, if I wouldn't have a stick, uh, it, it, it grabs me here and there, I would just fall on the floor, basically. And I tell him, man, you're doing it all wrong. Well, I know so, because I have a problem with the spine. Um, there is nothing worse about spine than causing yourself a torsion. A torsion. Torsion means this. This means torsion. This is torsion. And when you're doing this with a spine, you're just creating that kind of torsion. So I try to tell him, man, this is this is really, really bad for you. That's why they have those kinds of, uh, they also have a sticks that you would use, that you would hold yourself onto both at the same time, and that's how you would move forward. Um, so I see him in a, such a shape, it's shut me badly he says I would be on a wheelchair if I uh, he says, there is no way you could reach out to the doctor not even your own doctor someday I ask him how, how long you have this for and he says someday it's all good and I ask him how long do you have this for and he says uh, half a year I tell him if you're gonna play with this you're gonna end up on a wheelchair for the rest of your life 
Ще има една втора половина. Зрълни купа и за фитаница, по най като си кое. I told him go to the physician, go to the doctor and uh, insist that they have uh, pictures taken about your health. Do this at all costs, I tell him. He says, I was at the doctor, he says, they told me I have a disc that is fractured, this is bouncing for two centimeters, is uh, sided, sideways. Uh, he says, I could get, um, I could go, I could get, um, disabled, I could get immediately paralyzed uh, at just about any time, he told me. Now, that's one thing I'm going to tell you, I somehow cannot agree with that. I think that there is a lot about the physicians in Slovenia that I still have to talk about. Um, it pertains to my own father, it pertains not only to what you have seen was done to me, but in Slovenia I was told we do the stuff through physicians, through the medical profession. That's how we do it in Slovenia. I think they do it in a, in a lot of occasions, not only in Slovenia. And um, in some other video for which I will reserve that kind of stuff, I'm not going to go into in this video, uh, it's quite disturbing stuff. Uh, the doctors, uh, when you have already the situation that you are your, your disc already misaligned like for two centimeters and you can be paralyzed at any time I would say that's just a total bullshit that's just a total bullshit but the threat against this individual is supported with misfortune of another individual in this village there is another individual, his neighbor in fact both of these were involved in MK Ultra. The other one was totally involved in MK Ultra, who became completely, completely paralyzed. His injury, however, was not so bad. However, with the surgery he had gone to, I'm not going to say it had worsened, but I think that fuck, they fucking crippled him. They, they, they crippled him because I remember him. Sometimes in 2017, he would. He is just now almost static. He can now almost not move. He walks now like a robot, literally. Uh, he was nowhere even near like this. Now that these surgeries can go so bad, yes. But to this gentleman, you're about to hear me talking to. There was a whole a lot of shit that was done, and it had everything to do with the medical profession they would just not fucking assist him. There was a code that not only with the physicians, but also with a legal force, with uh, lawyers, with attorneys, that whomever the political systems labels as dead, you do not assist either as a doctor or as a, a lawyer. Um, when I was in Poland, when I was in Poland, when I was abroad, it's like um, Mr. Borut Pahor, Slovenian president, had told me the case would be, we're going to send you a fucking stack of threats from the lawyers like this. And I have it. I have a stack of these letters. I have received this shit. The only thing they would do is they would correspond and how uh, I am mentally ill, uh, dangerous, and I don't know what, from I don't know how many lawyers he got those kind of letters. Eventually I'm going to go and I'm going to publish those letters so that uh, people get to read and see what kind of bullshit this is. And when it comes to the medical doctors, if they poison you, if they do something to you, it's about exactly the same thing that have happened to this man. They will not assist you no matter what, no matter where you go, no matter this, they will delay, they will fuck you. They will, like they told me under MKUltra, uh, and what I was also reminded of, 
uh, if it's going to be like this, then we're going to go from one disease to another. This is what I was told. Yeah, this is what I was told. And I was brainwashed during MK Ultra on Michael Jackson. Uh, what happened, how the Michael Jackson got accident, and then it's all kinds of stuff that develop in him, how it's done, basically. Through the medical records, basically, they just progress. They fucking eat you out. Um, this I was already threatened, and I was threatened about my own father, who have a problem with Shchitnitsa, I understand. Shchitnitsa, it's like this, Shchitnitsa in Slovenian language, Thyroid. Thyroid. Let's see this here. Thyroid. That what you see here, that this would be this would be his problem. Uh, that eventually, let me let me demonstrate to you this thing again. This is a thyroid. I was taught by physicians during MK Ultra, and faced with my father, who would know absolutely nothing about anything anymore it would be like in a very very bad health um, that demonstrated I was already at a nuclear research center in Ljubljana where they do this research they had me there and that's when they brainwashed me that my father is going to have literally this kind of medical condition which will entirely depend on me in case I would not comply with demands of the Chetniks from the Belgrade my father would never ever come to examination, to this medical examination, he would not have his term therefore he would die it's either him or me or this or that this is the bullshit about this place here where I should not even be here but it's this big people that pull the strengths through the jobs through the employments and stuff like this and they bring you right back into back into the MK Ultra environment so they with the idea to control you but they're not doing too well but this is exactly exactly uh, what uh, you know they have uh, anticipated uh, according to what I am going to be playing uh, you know that kind of stuff and they create all kinds of stuff that I would start you know uh, about talking about things and so on so they would make me ridiculous and so on um, they have anticipated to do a lot of stuff uh, during the Trump's final days this was like a happy happy place boy a lot of stuff happened that I have refrained myself from talking about. Um, let's just leave it there and let's continue with audio recording. How about that? Okay. Um, the gentleman told me like the the gentleman told me. He told me this in Ljubljana, he said. 
I can be immediately paralyzed. Uh, one thing I'm gonna tell you, he said he's got this for during the last six months. No, he does not have this during the last six months. He had this definitely in 2017. In 2015, he insisted me, he said, I don't even know how long I'm going to be, and you're never going to make it, and this and that. Who is this man? This is this man, this is like, this is a spirit of this village. That's what this is. This is, this is a spirit. This is, this is, a, this is like, in my eyes, these are like, for me personally, this is this village. This is a soul, not spirit. This is a soul of this village. This is a soul of this village. This, if I, if I experienced this village, that I can tell you about the people from this village, then this is the soul of this village. This is his brother that I told you about, who got married to this girl from this place from Bosnia. Um, Yeah, if I only had a father like this, if I only had a father like this, um, I don't know how I would tell good enough about these people. I don't think I could tell enough good about these people. These people are just, it, it doesn't get more normal than these people, but you know, what exactly, who, what is normal? Uh, around people you have seen a little earlier. You, you moved something heavy. I told him of what happened. Oh, well, yeah, he was a farmer and this is probably the reason. Okay, now I'm going to put it this way, probably. Um, I've not seen his father in this shape. He wouldn't have anything in family, anything like the stuff you're about to hear, definitely not. Um, but there was also a group of people that became his neighbors. They were not from here. And they no longer are here. They disappeared. Sometimes, and I don't know. Um, maybe even in... Um, I don't know, 2012, I don't know what the year was. There was all kinds of stuff that lived his next door. So I don't know, I cannot tell enough about that stuff. Fact is that this could be also professionally related issue. Uh, this is something I would literally have to get uh, out of his own testimony on which he is keeping, I would say, if it wasn't for his MK Ultra accounts to me, uh, he's keeping like very, very uh, low profile on that. He's not very vocal about it. Okay, so he just tried to make it look the whole thing like, uh, you know, it's a normal thing. Yeah. Um, I'm smiling because my parents became extreme, extremely all of a sudden they woke up, they became vocal yesterday since I have posted the truth about the Kara Georgievich, about the Chetniks, about the stuff, they, it looks like a different situation. Anyhow, they, they totally, the situation totally revamped. Once I started to write about this stuff, they, seems like, my mom did not know what the semaphore is. How, why, why are the buttons on the semaphore light the other day? Believe me, um, it's completely different situation now. They all of a sudden completely revived. They, they, they again are very, very, and I'm glad, vital. I'm gonna say. Let's continue with the audio recording. Mm -hmm. 
Jag tycker att det är en kvalla på Grömmo 3 för att få bevinna för många kvalla I share my own experience uh, with him about my spine and I tell him that what I do is I, I, I support my spine with a, the with a hands. Uh, I bolster, I, 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 I pressure my spine from the side with the hands like this so the disc would not uh, go sideways. That's what I do. If I go up here or downhill, I do that. Or if the road is not steady, like if it's not uh, paved with the asphalt, I do that kind of stuff to keep easy on a spine, basically. I try to give him some idea, maybe, what he could use. He tells me I have a belt, though. I have a belt that uh, so one uh, holds me together in peace. He also says the weather change is also terribly affecting me. He says this is a weather change right now. Oh, this stuff was already recorded. Oh well, probably more than two months ago. I don't put a lot of stuff, I gotta put it on, I don't put, um, it's very, very difficult for me to record this kind of stuff. It's very, very difficult to record for me this kind of stuff. This is not pleasant stuff. I take a little break. I try to relax myself as much as I possibly can in a, in a variety of ways. Um, this is not easy on me. It takes toll on me, this kind of stuff, to record this kind of crap. Um, but, of course, I am determined to get about and get these things done. Because it's not true that we, as a Slovenian people, we are too small. Um, we are too small to govern our own affairs but big enough to cause problems to others uh, and in Bosnia and in Croatia and in Ukraine and so on and so forth. It's not, it's not that we're too small. We are big enough. Uh, you are as big as you think of yourself, basically. Or others. Yeah. <laughs> The weather chain affects me severely, a gentleman is saying. You have a half a year this, I understand. He does not have this half a year, no way. What about the chiropractics and stuff like this? And tell me about the guy that uh, the other day he would go and uh, he said, he told me, he explains me, boy, I went and I heard bones uh, cracking like you would not even believe, he said. I tell him, man, but that's that's not good. If you heard your bones, that they they cracking bones, when you have a spine injury, that's not good, really. This is not. This is this is just not a good sign. And I said, but what happened after he did this to you? And he says, I was several days. He said I could not even move. And then he said, then I started. My health started to improve which again kind of compar con confirms what I stated to you earlier about his spine issues too. He says three days after visiting this chiropractic, I couldn't do anything. I was like, I couldn't move. And then it started to get a little bit better. I told him this could lend you 
on a wheelchair. I told him. He said, yeah, it's true. He says I gave already so many physicians through. Okay, he remind me of what he told me under MK Ultra and what I already explained to you earlier. Uh, he visited these physicians here in an almost mess of vicinity. He told me this. He experienced this problem sometimes already in 2003. Now I'm talking about other stuff. I'm talking about here. We are talking now about this issue here. We're talking about the stomach. We're talking about the spleen, pancreas, and so on. Um, look, he visited so many doctors. It's not the cancer, maybe, that would even kill you. But it's the physicians because they give you maybe they express like a complete non-interest in helping you out they express him uh, such a dissatisfaction like every one of them told him there's nothing we can do nothing we can do nothing we can do it's too bad he wasted so much time going from doctor to doctor to doctor just to be told basically the same thing and he finally landed over there someone in Ljubljana that helped men out somehow. The somehow is still alive, basically. Uh. So for him it's very difficult because before the spine problem, he had a problem I have mentioned to you right now. He says in Ljubljana they help me if I go to Ljubljana. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we are again talking about the German who had maybe eight grades of uh, grammar school, farmer, uh, but I'm telling you, um, just like the neighbor here I was talking about, you can be suspicious to the people like this for, it's enough they don't like you. All right, they don't like it the way you look, the way you, the way you, you give the wrong look, uh, and it doesn't matter. Finally, it doesn't matter. You'll be dead one way or another. It doesn't matter. It just does a check mark on you, and that's pretty much your destiny then. <laughs> I had 11 surgeries up to now, 11 surgeries. Uh, I, I am, um, uh, he says I I was I was cut and like this like this like this like this like this uh, he says I am I am also without one testicle yeah this is this is the man who at all costs the MK Ultra and he would meet me and he says, I don't know if I'm going to be able to leave that long enough that I'm going to tell the truth. There's other people that are... To him, it's not about him. If it was for him, he would go and he would tell the whole thing. You know? uh, but it's about his brothers, about his family, and so on and so forth, that these people fear. You know, They fear. They... they For obvious reasons, you know, that's 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 what this is all about. That's how. It's good. I'm still alive. He says. Yeah. 
Okay. And I says from from the farming you're saying from the farming on the farm work. Yeah. Probably. He says yeah yeah, okay. yeah sure. Un bremenito, ne? Un bremenito. Uh yeah. Uh, due to heavy work on a farm. I said wow, really. That's something I would not imagine. Yeah. I told him I didn't know that, that uh, this is so exhausting work, I told him. This is a really, really exhausting work. This is a tremendous, tremendous load of work that these people were committed to. These are very, very hardworking people. Uh, especially during the seasons, he said you have to work and work and work. He said if I wouldn't have horses, he loves horses very much. This horse is, um, he's, got, he's got a deep affection for animals, um, doesn't have for that he would make money with it. He, he have them in a, behind the fence and it's just a freedom loving individual. He had these horses, uh, there is a hill behind his house and uh, they eat the grass, he give them and sugar and apples and all kinds of stuff like this, he plays with them and so on. That he actually really lives for the horses, he's not married, he is uh, alone and to him these animals are basically everything and he says uh, these horses come and they lick me uh, they lick my cheeks this is true this is like you know this is the way it is He says they help me out. My brothers come and they help me out. I ask about his brothers. Yeah, you one of them. Ah, one of them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, his, uh, his neighbor, uh, literally his neighbor, uh, his brother is married to the friend of the lady that you see right here. And this, she was here in our village, in our city. And this is what you see right here. This is the girl I alone I have fallen in love with uh, when brought to Bosnia literally this his brother had uh, medical issues with eyes but I would not relate this to anything you know, I wouldn't relate that to anything yeah. That's like uh, uh -huh. upgraded vision issues uh, at your age. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to put him a little bit to a smile, I, I tried to uh, put positive attitude to him, I don't feel good about him feeling so 
not good about his spine and I know he had other problems too uh, and so I tell him you see um, he's got a fine woman and uh, you see you have this because you don't have a fine woman like this you too should find yourself something I don't say that you too should find yourself to something but I tell him that's because uh, he's in a such a good shape physically in a such a good shape because he had a such a fine lady uh, just trying to make him smile uh, and he's while well, he is saying to me that he's the one helping him out so much and so on and so forth and I said yeah she's a really nice lady you know, she really is a nice lady and he's got a second beautiful daughter uh, with her uh, his first wife uh, passed away she had leukemia issues I said the brother you have nobody has the man like this he says another one who is uh, in another part of the city does not come so often but he helps me all the time yeah, yeah this is this man this is like his brother this is like I would say like a soul of this village oh, this is this is what this village really um, I would like uh, regard as high as possibly when it comes to the human being I don't think you possibly could find a better person than this man this man would always go and help people he goes everywhere and helps people that's how he is um, his wife he got married to and the girl I have spoken with she is from Bosnia um, I am not sure whether she is a Muslim or she is a Serb. I am not really, really sure. It's very possible she could be a Serb, which is completely fine. Yes, <laughs> Um, I tell him, I tell him you need to find some kind of solution for your spine. Uh, this is just in a really bad shape and he tells about uh, situation which I had mentioned to you earlier about his name, but Klemencic is his name. Okay, so he tells about uh, issue uh, with his spine. Uh, he uh, is uh, experienced. On what for a bot? He is now walking already like a robot. He had the surgery and he he can barely even walk. He's like a robot. He cannot even walk anymore. Basically. They perform surgery to him in Maribor. Maribor, this is like on a completely other side uh, of the country. Okay, that's not even in Ljubljana. Ljubljana is closer here, you see, but Maribor, this is here. Whoa. But, you know, the thing about it is, it doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. This, when the system brands you, um, 
it won't it won't make no difference whether it's Lebron or Maribor. That he had a therapist, uh, therapies, and I don't know what. And he told me the other day, he said, "I will probably have to go on another surgery." No yeah. I, I thought that he had a car accident, but he uh, the guy told me no. This was with a with a motorcycle accident. He was uh, at one place, at the night place, they had a phone, and he would have this accident. Yeah. <laughs> He had a problem he had in this accident, a uh, very bad accident, uh, something pinned through his body, a uh, mirror related issue. Uh, and they were not sure whether he's going to survive this thing or not. But very, very unlikely, and what was not even a, such a problem, uh, he survived. Internal organs, everything was okay, he survived. But very, very unlikely the spine turned into a problem. And uh, the uncle, they call him uncle, that's his father, he is 86 years old, but he does everything. But he also had a surgery. He also had a surgery. Uh, they cut him a quarter of the stomach and he also had a spleen operation. So now you see that this two neighbors are suffering from the same kind of issue and then there are other people suffering from this kind of issues. Which, however, nobody can explain because none of these people genetically had any kind of problems like this. None of these people had this kind of issues. We never had this kind of issues before. So this issue, however, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to relate yet another individual, not only him, but also another individual, his neighbor, to this kind of political cleansing. <laughs> To me, to me, however, they cut me, they cut me entire stomach, they cut me entire spleen, and they left me with a half of pancreas. I'm go ahead and I'm gonna repeat to you so you can hear clearly this. At the end of this video, I will repeat the entire video again. And, uh, Audio. They are asking me, the people are asking me, how can you live without the stomach? And how is it possible? I have to eat 10 times a day, he says, a little bit, little, little things I have to eat. It's how. And I am also using a pills, special pills that uh, would go and uh, liquid food, liquefy food. 
Al-Imam Zutra imam devet, a poodne tri, večer šest. Nine in the morning, in the middle of the day, three. A poodne tri, večer šest. In the evening, six. Zdaj so samo tabletov na jedne. I only eat pills. I asked him about why would his stomach quit on him. He says I never had any kind of pain. I had nothing. Never. Uh, it exploded. It exploded. It was a tumor. Uh, blood went on. Uh, um, well, on extra man on a on a shit. Excuse me. They couldn't find anything here. Uh, uh, and here, a doctor here from nearby sent me uh, to on the research to Ljubljana. He says, a uh, man would come, just touch me with a finger, here, 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 and he said, uh, urgent surgery. We will send you a date. And they did a surgery, very good surgery, he says, in Ljubljana. Uh, nobody had this in the family. Nobody had genetically anything like this, you know. Nothing. He did not use any kind of uh, artificial stuff, anything like this. That 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 uh, when you work in uh, farming and stuff like this, farmers do use uh, kind of stuff like this. But this farm, everything is natural here. I wanted to clarify that there's no there's no products. There's no nobody in the family. There was nothing, nothing, none, nothing like this. He says not even the doctors know where this would come from. Not even doctors. Nobody understand why this bull, this tumor, would come and explode. Nobody. Um, he talks uh, about marijuana, helps him, uh, uh, the, um, um, how would you say, the, the extract from marijuana help him. Not uh, to be mistaken with marijuana or something like this. Extract, uh, which is used for the medical purposes. The yogurt, my shamp. He mixes this into the yogurt and eats this. The much, da. Yeah. It's difficult to get and expensive. Yes. Yeah, 
بود که توی سومن می رزومه ای 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 بود که I tell him I have no idea where the hell would you get this from because nobody in your family has it. How? Where? How the hell this thing came from? And you were able to hear the neighbor also got, and I'm telling you other people also got this stuff. Uh, he says no, nobody has it. Nobody in the family had this thing. Nobody ever had this in our family. He says I don't know. We don't know. He says, disease, illness. Yes, Two centimeters, two centimeters is with a spine. With a spine, I told him you have to go to the physician, you have to go to the doctor, and you have to take care of that somehow. Because, you know, I realized that... Um, The exercise he was doing, walking, it's really good. You have to walk. You have to have blood circulate. But the problem is with a spine issue so severe, uh, using just one stick, one support of your body is causing a torsion to your spine. And that does you no good. There is a belt, but more than you're doing good to yourself, more damage is what you do when you're using that kind of system. At least he should use something, a system that would support himself on two, uh, on two legs, whatever. Um, but for that matter, and I know it comes to the income, and you know it comes to financial issues, you know, like everything in our lives. Um, just like his neighbor, they need. I believe both both of them a proper surgical procedure but to take this kind of procedures you can hear my daddy coughing from the kitchen you can hear what goes on you need uh, also a reliable physician so that's how that goes but you were able to hear this yeah this this is what goes on yeah it's it's quite a regular I am 62 years old, maybe also that. Um, both moms, from my mother's side and uh, uh, from my father's side, uh, uh, both died uh, from but that's something much, much more common. It used to be common because people work in the heat on the fields. Uh, and yeah, the people would have, they would express this kind of uh, brain, um, hmm, how you would say that? That's an interesting. In English, the proper term for that would be a stroke. 
that's a totally different stuff. This was a long time ago. Um, but these are totally different health issues we are discussing here about. This is a totally different health issues. He is saying, I'm also 62 years old. Um, but I stated what I stated. They don't want to be seen, these people. These people, this people are very timid, very careful. Yeah. Afraid, foremost. He tells about what his mornings looks like when he wakes up, that he's all dizzy, that he barely gets up every day, that that is very difficult for him. And I ask, is this because of spine? And he says, nobody knows why. Uh, no, you have a feels like that, I'm sure life is very difficult. It's not easy. He says, he says he's experienced this uh, with a spine uh, half a year. Okay, can't really agree with that. He had a problem with the spine already in 2017, I know. Another thing about me, and it's something I'm looking forward to change completely about, I have not kept a relationship with the people from the village of any kind, probably I've not met any people from the village, spoken with any people from the village. Uh, the exception was the neighbor here, Slavka, um, and no other person whatsoever. And that was up to year 2015, something like that. And then not even her, 2017 maybe. Uh, then not even her and I wouldn't get any kind of they just would not talk to me and they told me this until this thing is over yeah well, I um, Mr. Clement, which is his neighbor, I was there. Uh, he was involved in MKUltra. I'm glad somehow he survived. Whomever, okay, about the Vladimir Putin, whomever I would liken when I was brought here to my own house, to my own village, by the KGB, by the Russian KGB, by Moscovici, by Moscow, when I was brought here. I'm going to explain this issue. It's a very, very angering issue. Whomever I would liken from the neighbors, the only thing, or from the village for that matter, they would only go and do the check mark. That's all there was. And those are the people, I'm afraid, most of which you cannot even see anywhere. I also likened him, he had a severe problems. He had a real fucking problems. A terror in this village against the people was unprecedented. Unprecedented.
what I will do now is I am going to go ahead and I will play you the whole audio recording and thanks for watching this video um, till next time
Oni mu pa ne srešo automobil. Ne, z motorjem. Z motorjem. Kaj kurba je z motorjem? Je ben ti motor? Če so bili takrat, ki bi še desno v vrhu. Ja. Če niso šli domov, meni je tam dvajet do trej. A saj bi tudi jaz tako, če so še prefukaj naredili. En se mu je šitka zapičila tlele not, tlele je pa bi prišla od špegučka. Je špegučka, kad bo. Takrat je bil od enes, da je vtr so rekli, da sem malj Če bo je stav, da ima pa... Če pa hrste ni nisega jebe. In to je bilo na prasni prašu v Mariboru. V Mariboru. In zdaj ne mora nekaj. Tretji je pa šest na osmset let star, pa vse dela. Pa je bil tudi že na jetrih apariran, če tar želoče so modre izdali. Nekaj meni so celega in Branko in Pu Tino, ki je pa mi pa tle v majstne pa sprašal, je kupu lahko živiš brez želci zeloci. Ja, še se dva pari meni devajste za kupu. Zdaj jaz moram desetkrat na dan pol mički in pol jesti. Se počeraj vah naprej prevakne, pa tablet imam za razkrajanje hrane. Ali imam Zutraj imam devet, a pa od ne tri, zvečer šest, da se sem tabletov najeti, ne. Me ne treba že sprati. Somo, zakaj te bi želovali se povedal, to me ni jasno, zakaj te... Tu moraš, pa nikoli me naj nič bolel, ne. Pa li pa počel, en je tumor, En je šla kri na blatu, in pa tudi naj saj mogli neče ugotoviti, in mi je pa leta zragovga bajuk v Ljubljano poslal, da mi je pa sam en možak, ar pa šel, hej, tako le mi je naredil. Cik, 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 z enim prstom. Je rekel, nojna operacija. Zdaj pa sem bomo ven datum postavili kdaj. In sem zahvaljen od mu dvostari, ki mi je pariral. Ne bi nek problem v sever. Zdaj se zdaj piše. Tako da... Kaj je tega? Ampak od... Od vse ti nimaš v družini tega? No pa nimaš. Ne. Ja, pa kako kurva da moš ti to od kje? Moš ti da moš to reči. Ko moš ti kakšno recimo ne razumem od kje bi ti mutil, ali tu bi tu imel kakšna krma, ki je tazga v mestu, da si kje del, a si kje tazga uporabil, ali kje tazga, ali kaj? Ne, naj sem... Kaj pa pole? Ja, ne vem, ne vem, če doktori ne veje, od koga je tu prišlo, za koje je tista bulo prišla, pa počla, pa... Zdaj za to ne, zdaj za to ne. Zdaj me najbolj pomaga konop in pretojin. Konop in kako? Pretojin. Pretojin od konope? Ja. Tu je moka, da med jogurt zmejšam, pa pojedem. Zdaj to dajo? Da me moč da. Ti dajo moč? Ja. Sam je težko dobiti, ne? Ja. Je nema, je ne v lekar, en... Ja, veš kaj, najti je Joža prek interneta. Ja, se je imel Klaudija, Zuhana. Ta, ta le, včerka nekdova. Ja, ne, ne, od Zuhana, ki je na odpil v šložbo, v mas, je se internet... No, 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 pa naročiš, ko interneta se ne izdobijo. Pa prejde po pošt. Ja, kaj pa tudi? da tu je to meni razumljivo, kako da tu je treba če zjebalo vse živo, je to zjebalo tudi pa ne znamo, od kje pa tu je. Ker nima noben tega, nima ni Jožu, nima ni Zuša, nima ni 
Ти аз и пак на това не ми е, да ще се позаним, ако да бил чисто някаква информация, че е можно някаква кашна друга альтернатива. Морда е кей от стоя тази, да... Ами се мисля, не кай има ти сърцениза, т.е. не вема, ампак... Да, за два центи пно да я за целия укриш, за тута пас... За макино, ако е? Да, за макино. Не се, я си тута хора, я си тута. Ще ме случайно музик претърга, почвам от новозички. Да ти лаку музик претърга, ще рейте? Да, морам виркат, да и бред ми едно на смен. Бъгат веген. Ту е па, ту е па, ту па ни да обрът. Да. Ту па ти ще е па, ту па ни. Мал са лайта, мал... Ето у 26-тем лайт. Ту ни на че е в лаше. Да. От маме... Мати е умърла пред 50-тем лайт, а датата мама е пред 50-тем лайт. И е кап едно и друго. Не, тако мисля, как много. Не, ти не размишам на това, не? Не го и понавеш. Аз морам да устанем поистеля, морам да тази да седят, да ме на пток грие, да се двигам. Дека ти ме углава да върти, не? О, за ретрата не са и това, да. Да, навеем. Тут два стари навеем. Ej, mnogo tam zraniko, dobit neki, če si še en zraniko, kako pove srtenica, kako je. Ker, veš kaj je? So pa, so pa, so... Kdaj so ti pa dali to diagnozo srtenico? Kuk čas? Kdaj so ti pa dali to diagnozo vse pteniso? Kuk časa nazaj? In so rekli, da se naravno nič kaj dost nadvi. Razen operacijo? Kakšna operacija bi pa ti bila? Če ti kaj pokazali? Vrtenco, ne? Vrtenco. Če pa da bi nekaj skupaj dal neke šralce not, ne da? Ja, ja, ploščice neke. Jaz ne bom nič rekel, tudi tvoje odločitev. Ja, ja. Tudi tvoje odločitev. Samo praviš, da... Dohter mi je tako rekel, lahko operacija vse, lahko pa ne... A praviš Klemenče, če pa čist dohter. Again, thanks for watching, until next time.